ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to another edition of Toy Nuts. Now, I got this box today from the one and the only Ivan Ruiz out in Cali, my buddy. Done a lot of trading with Ivan. And uh, I cracked the top of this and I was totally blown away. I recently won a contest for a uh, Funko. Uh, blind bag uh, DC figure which I'll go ahead and pull it out of the box okay they're superheroes vinyl figures there's the box there's all the ones on the back I'd like to get that Harley one but it was for the Superman and I thought when I got this box, I was like, that's way too big for just a Superman. And I forgot that he had some trade goodies for me. And dude, you rock. And this was a total tease. Diz, you'll like this. I love vintage, the vintage Mickey Mouse himself. Not real big into the new Mickey, but this was cool. Use that for packing material. So anyhow, my trade goodies were, oh, I'm trying to think of this guy's name, and I wish I had the rest of the pieces for him, his chains and stuff, from Street Sharks, one of the villains. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. That'll go right in with my Street Sharks. And then, I do believe this is a D&D &D figure which I'm starting to pick up again. He's in really good shape, just missing these weapons and stuff. So, like, Count, if you got some extra weapons for this guy or something, or Twisted, let me know. We'll work something out. Uh, I can't remember this guy's name from uh, Buck Rogers, but I had this as a kid. It used to kind of freak me out. I'm glad to have it again. I'm glad he's got his robes. And then, before I show you the main attraction, Ivan bought one of the sprue kit kits. And, uh, this, and kind of like you put it together, your own action figure. And came in a great big box that was like this tall, that wide, that deep. And you thought you're getting like a six inch action figure. But he sent him to me, and dude, I'll keep it forever, because we had a lot of laughs over this. But he bought the Batman. <laughs> he's really a great big figure. Sent me his little stand and stuff, but uh, this will go with my Bats collection, man, and I'll keep it forever. You put him together. It's still a cool-looking figure. It was just kind of a disappointment for him. Now this is the creme de la creme. A lot of you know that watch me. I love the Sectars line. I've been trying to pick them up when I can. But I haven't got a hold of this. And it's just awesome. It is the spider, spider from Sectars. It's in really good condition. There's a little bit of chipping on the tooth. But that's something I can fix with a little bit of paint. But other than that, man, this is in really good shape. This is awesome. The uh, What I like is the saddle is still in one piece. You usually don't see that. The fur is still all in the glove. And this is going to go right into my collection, man. You don't know how much I appreciate this. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. So anyhow, if you don't know who Ivan Ruiz is, check him out on his channel. It's Ivan's toys and comics he does awesome reviews just a great dude to deal with I feel we've become pretty good friends over the last couple years with the toy collecting so uh, check him out at Ivan Toys and Comics he does comics, toys just an awesome dude and if you get a chance check out Collector's Talk tonight it will be on about I'm going to say 9.30 or so Central Time, maybe a little earlier, 
So that's like 11, 10.30, 11 o'clock here in the eastern side and about 7.30, 8 o'clock over on the west coast. So check us out. A bunch of us get together and talk our love of toys. Until next time, you never know what you're going to find or where you're going to find it. Happy collecting.